In this tutorial, we're going to work out how we can add data to a database using insert into in SQL. So we're going to use the W3Schools SQL Triad editor um, and the database in there. So we could um, try and add information records to any of these tables, but we're going to go for um, categories because it's perhaps the easiest table to add something into. So at the moment, we've got eight different categories. Um, so we've got a shop that sells all sorts of different types of food and drink. But imagine that shop is branching out and it's also wanting to sell pet food. So we want to add a new category in here. So rather than select to search from that table, we want to insert into. So first of all, we say which table we want to add data into. And we want to add it into the categories table. And then in brackets, we say what fields... Um, we're going to put in, so let's start with the category ID and then separate them with a comma, so category name and then the description. And outside of the brackets, we need to say what the values are, the new values that we're going to add into this category. And we put the values inside quotation marks. Now in SQL, if you want to add a number, an integer, you don't need quotation marks. Lots of people um, tend to put quotation marks around numbers. It won't work if you do that. So integers don't need quotation marks, but strings do. So strings are text. So if we want to add a new category name, which is our next field we're adding in, um, we'll need to surround it by some um, quotation marks. So let's say the category name is pet food. And the description can be snacks and feed for animals. Um, so if we run it, it'll tell us how many rows are affected. So we've added one new row to our categories table. So that now when you search, you should see that extra category on here. Now the beauty of SQL is that everyone um, can send SQL uh, from different computers uh, and update the same database. Now this database just lives inside your browser, so anyone else on the internet accessing this won't see your change. Um, but if this database lived on a web server somewhere, everyone else in the world who connected to it would then see that change. If you want to restore it and get rid of any changes you've made, just click Restore Database and it will go away. So now it should reset it back to your normal 8. Okay, so the order was, um, it's insert into, it's the name of the table, so we said categories. Um, and then we need to say the order of the fields. Last time we put the ID number in, this time we're not going to do that. Um, category, name, description. And then we say the values, so we'll say it was pet food, wasn't it? And then snacks for pets. Um, so we haven't put the category ID in this time. That's because the category ID is um, the, primary, the primary key, and it can't be the same as anything else in there. So often it's set to just add it as the next available number. Um, okay.